Hi everyone, Neil from ECS Coffee here in the showroom in Burlington, Ontario, and we're here to talk about the Lavazza Classy Pro. If you've seen some of my other videos, you've probably seen the Midi, the Classy Mini, and the Classy Plus. This is the Classy Pro. It's designed for offices that are looking for a very nice, easy and quick solution for great espresso and cappuccino with limited space and people that don't want a lot of work. So it is a capsule-based system. The capsules from Lavazza are called Expert. There's a number of varieties. I think there's about eight or nine right now and growing. Uh, they have um, capsules that will say espresso on them, some that will say cafe on them, and some that will say double shot. The espresso obviously is for espresso. The cafe is to give you a coffee that's gonna get you about an eight ounce brew. So more of a European style, so not a big giant uh, mug, but a good sized, uh, small to medium sized coffee. And the double shot are two shots of espresso, uh, which I'll show you on the machine in a minute. Neat thing about this machine is it is plumbed into your water system, so you do not have to fill it up at the back, which is very nice. It's automatically hooked up. It's a very, very sexy midnight blue. In fact, it looks like a black, but as single serve machines go for office places, and I have seen them all, it is actually one of the nicest looking ones out there um, when you're coming to capsule type style based machines. So I'm gonna show you guys very quickly just how to make a couple of drinks and what the drinks do. There's not much more to know beyond that. Uh, we actually can provide this machine on loan to you if you're in our service area, as long as you're purchasing capsules from us. And we do have a capsule recovery program so that we can ensure none of these end up in the landfill if that is a concern for you. Um, outside of our area, these can be purchased and or in whatever market you're in, you can look for a dealer with Lavazza and they can maybe offer you one of those two options. So I really like it because I'm lazy. Um, so I'm gonna kind of go over the menu here. You get um, espresso, a lungo, an eight ounce coffee, the double shot button, which you would press if you're using a double shot for your drink, macchiato, cappuccino, and latte. It's got a system clean button. I'm gonna show you guys what happens in here. This is where your capsules will go um, and you'll have to dump this, it'll tell you. You can even see on the screen right now, I don't know if you can zoom in on that, Jack, but it says drip tray removed. It's pretty intuitive, it's telling you what to do. And we've got this little hose here, which I've, I haven't actually used before on a Lavazza, but that's for the milk system, which we'll get to in a minute when we make ourselves a cappuccino. It does just kind of tuck in there at the side. Uh, you can remove it, you don't have to have it, but then you won't have any of those milk drinks available. So, so that's something. So we're gonna make ourselves an espresso with a Roma top, um, nice and easy. Just gonna lift the top right here. It drops the previous puck into the bin. Drop this down, handle down, and I'm gonna press espresso. And off you go, light will flash, drink will be made. And these are programmable, um, limit, limited programming abilities, just volume based, but uh, they are programmable, but you don't really need to. Uh, you're gonna get the right size drinks out of these right out of the, right the get-go. Sometimes people buy these big giant mugs and uh, they wanna fill them up a little bit more. So you'll be able to see how quickly I can do these drinks sort of back to back though in an office where I've got my espresso and I'm gone, next person comes along. Espresso over there. And let's say the next person wants, let's go with the uh, cappuccino. Now, uh, I don't have a milk fridge with me. That whole supply chain mess has caused a few headaches, so we don't have any milk fridges actually um, for this machine in stock right now. Uh, we do have other milk uh, options as well, though. Other, we have other milk fridge style things that we can, we can use. So I'm just gonna drop this in here for now. Um, and we're gonna throw in the next capsule, which is going to be, we're gonna go with cappuccino. It's gonna suck the milk out of here. At least it better suck the milk out of here because I haven't actually used it before, so hopefully I'm doing it right. And we'll see what happens. I'm gonna make the assumption this is heating up um, steam for the milk. That's why it's flashing. It's taking a second. But now I can feel it's going. And I have no idea how high this is gonna go. Just grabbed a glass from behind our bar here, so hopefully it doesn't overflow and I make this look terrible. Doesn't look like it. Looks like it's got a good size. And then it'll drop the espresso on top. It knows what it's doing that way. makes for a nice layering effect. And there you go, your cappuccino is almost done. And we're gonna go on, we're gonna, 
Let's go with a coffee next. I'm just gonna grab another mug. This will probably, that's yeah, probably a little bit big. Uh, let's grab another one. Show you how different size mugs can look a little different. But there's your cappuccino done. So now we're gonna, we're gonna very quickly do a coffee right after that uh, cappuccino is done. Again, capsule on the top, close it down, and we're gonna press the coffee button. And it's gonna give us an eight ounce coffee. Now this is a pretty big mug, so I expect it's only come up to about here. But um, that's just cause it's a larger mug. And the capsules are different. You wanna use the cafe capsule for the coffee. It's got a slightly different uh, grind to it um, that's designed for this machine so that you'll get better extraction. The espresso one's obviously for the espresso. It is steaming hot. So you can see we've got an eight ounce coffee. Doesn't look like it's full in this cup, but if I pour it into another one, it's a little smaller, it will look full. So keep that in mind. I could have used this and it would have been right up to here. And that's about it. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, there is no hot water function with this machine, but uh, chances are if you're gonna have this machine in your office, you're probably gonna have another machine for regular coffee or you might have another machine um, for hot water or kettle. So that's the one thing that's kind of missing on that. Let me just have a sip of the coffee. Everybody tells me to do that. And that's good, Lavazza coffee, if you know Lavazza coffee. Okay, so the only button left here to actually look at, as you notice we've got latte, cappuccino, macchiato, espresso, lungo and coffee and double shot is system clean. So let's see what that does. I haven't actually looked in the book, but let's see what that does. Direct start milk cleaning, yes or no. It looks like we got an up and a down button, um, but I don't wanna do the milk cleaning without water, so I'm gonna to have to grab some water to see how that looks. So these machines are gonna want you to clean out the milk, because obviously this is gonna get full of gungy gungy stuff, dried milk, and nobody wants that. So we're gonna system clean. We're gonna go down to yes and hit okay. Move, drip, grid, down, press. Oh, it's a drip grid. Press down key. Oh, it looks like I'm missing the drip grid, but okay. We press key, done that. Remove buttons to remove milk unit. Oh, oh, here we go. Look at that. That comes out. See how easy it is when it tells you what to do? Uh, press buttons to remove, press clean milk unit, press, press key. Oh, so I, this is to, I guess you clean this out. Manually, you clean this out, which I'm not gonna do right now. Insert milk unit, press any key. Place empty glass, which I will do right now. So it's asking you to take it out and rinse it out. It just clipped right out there. Press any key. Pipe in cleaning solution, press any key. So theoretically, if I had cleaning solution, I would have put it in here. And now it's gonna probably suck the water up here and do it. It's pretty standard on most of these. That's kind of what they do. You put a cleaning solution in a container, it sucks it through the piping system. Um, that's why I was kind of winging it and not reading the instructions. But there will be a solution we pop in here to do that with. And that's probably all the maintenance you're gonna to have to do on this unit, except for dumping out the pucks, which you'll have to do as they get full, but it will tell you that. So we're just gonna let this clean. It's an important step to have when you're doing milk-based drinks because the milk will harden inside these tubes and then you're gonna end up with some, uh, it just won't work, the, the, the liquid won't be able to go through. So it is important that you do that, but you can see how easy that was to, uh, to manage that, not a big deal at all. That's gonna overflow. I don't have another cup. Let me get one quickly. Make sure your cleaning vessel is big enough. And that's it. Oh, still says cleaning, so we're gonna leave it going for now. See what happens. For the life of me, I can't decide what it could be doing after this because it's done everything, I think. But it shows that it's halfway done. So let's see what other magic comes from the, the uh, oh, empty glass, press key. Okay, so press key. Empty glass. Pipe in fresh water and press key. So it's asking you basically to uh, 
once you've done the cleaning cycle with the liquid, the cleaning liquid solution, it's asking you to put in some clean water, which actually makes a lot of sense. I just hadn't done it because I didn't put any solution in there so that you're not drinking the uh, cleaning solution, right? Seems completely logical, but I missed that step there a minute ago. Now it's going to rinse with clean water. And there you go. Okay, folks, so there you go. We're getting the milk system cleaned uh, back to normal. That's basically the maintenance, like I said, you'll do in this machine. It is a great unit. We do have smaller ones that you can actually use for home or smaller offices that can't be plumbed in. But this one is for that account, that office that wants to have a very quick and easy solution. Um, and you're getting a consistent espresso and cappuccino every time. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and a subscribe. I'd appreciate it. If you're interested in this machine for your office and you're in the greater Toronto area, we can service you to this machine on loan based on a certain number of capsules purchased. But we do have these available in our showroom and the other models for you to purchase as well and get some great espresso at home. There's links probably up here to the other machines or somewhere in this video there'll be links to the other machines that we do have and uh, you can watch videos on those. Thanks again guys. Until next time, I have been Neil and it's been my pleasure. Take care.